Hey kids, I'm back again. Let's review what we did last time. Uh, last time we talked a little bit about strumming. Talked a little bit about single notes. We talked about making chords. And the first chord I showed you was a D. And to review that, you take your first finger. See, it has a one on it. There's the one that has a two. And there's the one that has a three. So you take your first, to make a D, you take your first finger, go to the third string from the bottom, one, two, three, slide over to the second fret, and you put your finger there. Take your second finger, the one that has a two on it, go to the bottom string, slide over two frets, and put your finger there. Then you take your third finger, the one that has a three on it, slide over three frets and up to the second string. And that'll make a D. There we go. First chord done. Now, we're gonna go to a C. There we go. C chord. Okay, you can see the top of the diagram. I have the nut laid out. This is the same way you're gonna see it on any charts, if you go to ultimateguitar.com, like I said, do that. Uh, you can see I noted the frets going down the side, and the dots are where you put your fingers. Okay, and hopefully this, when I put this video up, it turns out in the right direction. I think the last one did, so we're good. Um, so anyway, you're using three fingers, one, two, and three, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. The only other thing that I got to stress is that when you're putting your fingers onto the strings, they go in between the frets. Don't put your fingers on the fret bars themselves. The fret bars are those brass lines that run down from six string down to one string. All right, they're basically dividing the frets. If you put your fingers on the fret bars, what's happening is you're stopping the tone and you're going to get buzzing. So here we go making a C. Take your first finger, first fret, go up to the second string on the first fret. Take the one that's numbered two, you go up one, two, three, four. So four strings up, second fret, take your third finger, go up to the fifth string, third fret. So you now have a finger on the first fret, a finger on the second fret, and a finger on the third fret. And this pinky is just kind of hanging out. There's a C chord. There's your C chord, all right? And the way you learn that is practice. Uh, your fingertips will probably be a little sore after a while, but after a while what happens is you develop calluses and then you can jump around all over and that can play for hours without no problems. So there's a C again, and I'll repeat that so you can see it again. Finger number one, finger number two, finger number three. Okay, number one. Up two strings. First fret, number two, up four strings. Second fret, number three, up five strings. Third fret, one, two, three frets, and C. Back to D, back to C, back to D. I think that's good for now. On the next one, I will give you a G chord. See you later.